I'm Grandpa Robert. And we are Yo Talk TV. That's right. Hey, welcome to our Tuesday show. Got a lot of stuff today. We've got some other sodas open up. We've got some Dustin. Stephen wanted to do some uh, Stranger Things stuff. Demi Gorgon. Unfortunately, those are the only ones I have. So we've got some Frodo to toss in. We have a... Guess what today is? JP? Nope. Prototype today. <laughs> So we got a new prototype. I saw its toes. You saw its toes? Like, but... And then we'll talk about the giveaway at the end. We, we got a trivia question for you and everything. So, let's get this started. Good old Dustin. He has his uh, Hillfire Club and his uh... walkie-talkie. So, he's holding his walkie-talkie. You know, we still haven't hit this one yet. Neither this one nor the Demi Gorgon. Obviously, that's why we have them both. It's because we have not been lucky enough to get those. It's right here. And that's all right. I just wanted to get that off first. Okay. So we got the perfect pull. We need the perfect pull today. Hey, guess what? I dropped five centimeters. Five centimeters. Oh, you dropped a lid. It might, it might just be a foot. <laughs> All right. I just realized that Trouble and Subway sandwiches are pretty good. You always like Subway sandwiches. Who doesn't like Subway? People right. who don't like Subway, don't like Subway. So I've been on a streak lately. I've gotten like the last five you or six days. You actually get have. this? I'm actually so getting this one. Who needs to store one today? Because he's starting to get disappointed. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, double zero. You yep. didn't get it? All right. Looks like we struck out. This is goofy. Dustin's just not doing it for us. He's become our troubled child, I guess. Because we just have not had any luck. 10,500 is how many were made in those comments. Like I said, we've opened up our six pack, at least the six packs of worse, and we still haven't hit them. So, bad uh, luck on Dustin. All right. Well, you know what? The Demogorgon, I think we're in the same boat with, so we need to hit him because he hasn't been too easy for us. So, obviously, it's the mask open. What this mask? one's going to be really, or space open. I was like, what? Yeah, his face open. This one's going to be kind of tough for us to do without us knowing which one it is right away. It's funny. We watched all four seasons and he still called it a mask. Well, it's because when you're talking on the fly, sometimes you don't think of everything. It's going on a perfect pull. Whatever you do, do not feel ahead. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to tell. Like, I'm pretty sure I know what that one is. Grippers are really sharp. So it's Three. hard it's hard to move it around and not know. Three, two, one, go. Strike again. Wow. Oh. We just cannot catch any luck on these stranger thing pieces. You know? We just no luck. It took us forever too on uh Kelly. Ellie? Eleven. Eleven. Eleven, yeah. Oh my well, god. But they called him Ellie, right? They didn't always call her just Eleven. She had an actual name. So. It's not Ellie, though. One of 12,500. I gotta remember. I thought it was Ellie because that's an abbreviation of Eleven. Uh-uh. Okay, well, we'll figure I forgot it out. her real name, but they called See? her. See? And it makes me look bad because I forgot. Alright, okay. we're striking all the way around today. Mm. Yeah, that's right. I know what to do. Alright, so. I actually don't get Next thing we have is Frodo. Now, we haven't opened up an 80s, so this is the first time for us on the uh, Frodo's. And so this one's just basically he's got a hood on. That's the only difference. I thought we opened up the invisible type. Well, we did open the invisible one, but that has really nothing to do with this particular version. We've got three chances on this one, unless we can get the perfect pull right off the bat, and then we'll keep that last one as our, uh, our master set. So we could end up with a master set off of this. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. 
So in this version, he has the cape. Yeah, well, he's got the he's got the hood. Yeah. Still has the sword and everything like that. It looks like the hood's the only difference. Hey, you do find out. <laughs> yes. Finally got something. So we'll keep this last one. We're not even open it. We ended up with a master set today. Can't and that's, e there. that's even better than just one chase. So there we Ew, go. Ew! Look at his grippers. They're so hairy. Yep. Bad news for grippers. seven is Grandpa's got the last six or seven chases, and he Heck hasn't yeah. scored one lately. I don't care. One th uh, five thousand eight hundred or one thousand five hundred and eighty three. Did you show the common? No. Well. Which one is the combo? It's the one you have. <laughs> so. yeah. Did you know I'm not best? I just want you to look at that. Look at Usually that. I didn't take it out of the box because you can't tell because it's all wrapped up. I can see so. an orange thing. So there's the regular piece. Alright. No way. I think I might know. Yeah, because I think I told you about it. No, you didn't. There you go. One of 7,917. Yeah. I knew it! Alright. Want to know what it said? So we ended up with a master set. So there we go. Now mail call. So as you know, we've got a new prototype to add to our collection. So Steven's going to open it up. You put them in backwards. Should I put them upside down? Yeah, that's not surprising. <laughs> All right. If y'all can guess this, cool. <laughs> I don't care. Um, From a popular show on Netflix. Very popular show. Three, two, one. Right here. Ooh, there we go. Is that a name? Klaus. Yeah. He always Umbrella Academy. He looks like Bob. This is with the orange glasses version sure. of the prototype. I think there's also one that has where the glasses are the same color as the body style. So this is a Klaus one. Doesn't you can that see pretty, on the bottom. What's that? Doesn't that pretty much make him a chase? Well, it's rarer than a chase because the way they go is, is so the regular piece is a common. Your chase piece is harder to find. Then you go down to artist proofs, which are really hard to find comparably, because usually there's like 48 or less of them made. And then there's artist proofs, and I think the, I mean, the not artist proofs, um, prototypes. And prototypes, there could be a dozen different prototypes, but the problem is, is that most of the time they're different. There's could be two or three of the same style, or, you know, say like two or three maybe of this particular one. But usually there's like one like this, there might be one without glasses, there might be one with white glasses. Um, and just different setups. So it's hard to keep track. Basically, how do you figure out and know that you have an actual prototype is, is that when you buy, you buy from people um, that uh, uh, you've gotten to know that you, you can come up, like they can give you history on it. They can tell you who they bought it from. Like I bought these from Mansard Lemon. This guy has been, if it wasn't for him, um, Steve and I would never have any prototypes in our collection because every prototype we got, and I forgot to mention in the last show, I feel really bad about that, but, you know, our Jack came from him, our uh, uh, Oogie Boogie came from him, this one came from him, and the last one we have, and that's because these aren't cheap. Prototypes are, are a little bit more expensive. I mean, I could buy a few APs for the price of one prototype, and so he, he was willing to work with me and uh, do some trading with me and stuff like that. And that's why we got these into our collection. So because of him, we were able to get the, um, uh, and he, he's known in the community or, you know, he's known well enough to where I knew he was legit. And, uh, and then he had the background on his pieces. So I know where he got it from and where that person got it from. So that's got a history. So watch out when you're buying prototypes. Don't go buying them on eBay because eBay a lot of times but they're, they're what we call scrappers. Um, these are guys that pick them up out of the trash and stuff like that and, and you don't know if they've Customized them if they've done anything to them if they're legit or not because there's no way to validate It's their word that they got it from wherever the case may be We can literally buy, we could literally paint this little guy completely white White, and call yeah, it a call it a prototype But, um, hey guys, you buy this but when you buy from photo? people that are reputable then you know what you can do so uh, things that you can watch out for, guys, is, is on uh, Whatnot, um, I believe Fugitive Toys, 
um, does auctions, and there's one other guy, and you know, I wasn't planning on talking about this, so I didn't look it up. But there's two people that uh, sell online um, that do this type of stuff. And then if you go on, there are good people on eBay that you can buy from, but I recommend going in and finding the prototype groups in Facebook, okay? And join into there. You get to know the, the admins and stuff like that, and you'll get to see who's been dealing and who hasn't been dealing and who, where your toys are coming from and stuff like that. Um, this guy, he's just, he's got some unbelievable stuff. Um, he even have, has the, uh, original, um, uh, uh, or he had, I know he sold a set, but he had two sets of the original serial characters and prototypes, you know, so some pretty cool stuff, but that's prototypes. So if you're wondering how to, how to get prototypes, you know, like I said, I luck out and stuff like that, but you can watch this what night to, you, you can look, there's two people. I believe one of them is Fugitive Toys, and the other one is a guy who takes consignments in for different people. It doesn't ask for any money off it, but he double checks the research on the pieces before he puts them up for sale because he wants to make sure everything he's selling is legit. And then, like I said, your secondaries, you can go to Facebook and stuff like that. Watch out buying from eBay unless you know the reputation of the person that you're buying from because you just don't know. So that's how we've got we've got three prototypes into our collection. All right. Uh, thanks, thanks, Sergeant Lyman. It uh, wasn't for you. We know we wouldn't have them. And we still even have one more for next month to add to the collection. I saw um, his grippers. What's that? I saw his toes. You saw his toes on the other one? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's another, we'll, we'll tell you, we know. It's another, it's, it was kind of cool that the sets that we got was two from, from uh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas and two from Umbrella and Academy. So the other one that we'll be adding will be Umbrella Academy. So we got another character from there. That will happen in the second uh, Tuesday of next month. That will be our special piece next week. Obviously, we'll go back to Artist Proofs, uh, adding to our collection. So, Question finally, time. we have our giveaway, guys. You guys voted for the sleeve stack, and that's the one we're giving away. Uh, thanks to Pop Pop Goes the Weasel, Weasel for uh, putting together the banner for us. Um, uh, it's much appreciated. Uh, he did the last one for us also, did this one for us, so we got, can use this for the next couple weeks. Um, the contest will run for a couple weeks. Um, Tuesday, or Saturday, this week, and next week, you'll be able to enter, and then we'll give it away on the following week. Uh, and then we'll work on to the next one, which will probably be the Snagglepuss. So, Stephen's got a question for you. So this is what you do. To enter, to get this, you have to answer down below, and you have to give us an answer to our question. So, what's the question, Stephen? What is the name of the little tiny monkey guy? That, I'm uh, cool Sid, tiny, but monkey guy. Sid, what is her name? <laughs> what is the name of the monkey from Land of the Lost? Yeah, okay. that the two little kids found. I forgot their okay. name. Okay. Well, it's, it's yeah, and, and right now I'm drawing a blank on them too. But this brother and sister found them. Uh, but uh, we who were... is the character? Who is? What is the name of the character? The monkey character from uh, First Land of the Land before Lost, Land of the Lost. Was it the first? Yeah, he was the first episode he was in, wasn't he? Yeah, we watched so it. Grandpa forced us. <laughs> he let I made him watch some of the old stuff because we were getting cool stuff in, and I wanted him to know who the Slee Stack was because it's like one of my favorite pieces. We have we have a chase. We got the master set. We have the chase. We have the common. We have the sealed can. Um, I want to get the APs, but like the chase APs, like over a thousand dollars, and then. Uh, um, common one is still like five hundred dollars and, and then you just don't find them for sale and then prototypes holy cow you know the prototypes probably going for a couple thousand dollars i've yet to see one period just, just, for sale. just so you know how much did we trade for this old devious creature well he's worth about he's worth about 600 and he's going to look down a little bit and he's worth about 600 yeah he's you worth don't, about 400 plus you don't even know how many ap's we traded for this old yeah we we, we 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 had to trade some stuff <laughs> to get it um yeah, but it worked out hopefully well for him. It worked out really great for us because it gave us a chance to get him into our collection. Can I make some words of wisdom? Words, uh oh. Is that... I should put up, have uh, a pop up. We will make a little banner that says Stephen's words of wisdom. <laughs> okay. Be scared, guys, because I have no idea what's coming out of his mouth. <laughs> so, I'm just going to name some breakfast items, okay? Okay. Uh,. Eggs, bacon, and sausage. I am holding you hostage. Very wise words. <laughs> and, um... I warned you. Uh, what was it? Uh, 
if I'm doing it. Like and subscribe, or I will hold you hostage and tie you to a fan. Hit the bell That's notification, guys, say. down below. Let you know when our next video is. Please subscribe. We're moving up. Uh, we still haven't figured out what we're going to do in our 400. Uh, and we're just waiting for the clear weather to hit on a weekend so we can sit there and do his... We will throw this off of a skyscraper. And heck, we're even 125 away from Grandpa getting ice buckets. Mm. We know that happening at 500. But we haven't figured out what we're going to do at 400, so we're still kind of in that sad. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. We're having fun with this. We've been having some really cool stuff added to our collection lately. And hopefully we can keep it going. Like I said, I know for the next two months still... Because I have, uh, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six more artist proofs down below. No, seven. Seven more artist proofs down low. One more prototype down below. So we know we got eight, eight weeks worth more of the fun stuff to add to our collection. So, Wise of words of wisdom. No, no, no. Uh, th this is just what you want to do if, if uh, you cannot go to Disney World. Tie yourself to the ceiling fan and ask someone to turn it off. You'll be. Turn it off so you yeah. can fly. Wee. All right, guys. It's, it's so you have fun. a great rest of the day. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye bye.